to talk here today is about youth inclusion within the community as a whole and what influences young people and how to give them a voice. And I work with young people from 14 to 18, but the company itself works with young people from 14 up to 24. And we are the leading provider of youth provision through the county. We work with partners in order to provide a voice for our young people, to provide a consistency of expectation for our young people. We really work hard to develop the young people that we work with, their communication, their self-esteem, their education. We try to give them aspiration and to enable them to understand how they can move forward. We identify barriers for our young people, we help them to identify barriers, that's what's key. And we help them move forward from that. Obviously, as an organisation that works countywide, we work with a lot of different partners. We have um, partners across the county who provide delivery for things that we can't necessarily deliver. As we are an infrastructure organisation, to help our partners provide the best experience for our young people as possible. And we covered diversity during the whole thing, so we covered the LGBT community, we covered mental health, we covered refugee state, we covered asylum, so we cover a whole spectrum of young people from, the, from 14 right up to 25 and we work closely with DWP. And so right now we're in schools working on a CAF project to get young people ready for the adult world and taking them the next step to, so they can get the better selves from this age. That's it, really. We're wanting to level up to make sure that all young people can actually aspire to that positive and successful future. And making sure that we as an organisation, we're identifying them when they're in school, before they become me, that's not in employment, education and training, to help support them into that successful adulthood. And it is that inclusivity to make sure that we are working with all young people who need our support and to ensure that they are getting the best benefit that you know we can offer. We're passionate about seeing our young people develop and improve and the success stories are amazing to see and if we can identify and support them with aspiration through schools then support them through different programs through that transition process into adulthood then we can ensure that they you know they, they have their best choice they have their best chance and that they're really moving forward themselves not just shoving them into something that doesn't have that long-term future that has a zero hours contract it's making sure that they're doing something that really enthuses them so that they can be a valuable member of society for the future and today's conference race to be is all about networking with different partners so we could all work underneath an umbrella to get the best for young people i think what this event is about dialogue the end of the day dialogue because I did an analogy I said to a person I said if you take three cans a red can a blue can and a green can and you place them down you're gonna look at the color of the can but it all has water in it so if you bypass the color of the cans we all the same we all the same entity we all human beings so people need to start looking beyond that and be ready to dialogue with have a conversation with you get to know somebody before you prejudge them so today's conference is all about people who can make a difference out within Cumbria because Cumbria, like I said to my colleague yesterday, is getting really diverse and it's just to open up people's ideas to change and to embrace change because change is good.